backwards. What we want to do is take you down below the bridge and show it to you from the bottom. Now this bridge, even though it looks like it, is not the original bridge. The original bridge was built in 1884, and it was torn down in 1939. It was made of cast iron and wrought iron, and sat on a granite stone foundation. It cost $240,000 to build, and believe me, in 1880, that was a lot of money. Incidentally, when they scrapped it out in 1939, it brought the lawsuit sum of $650. Now, this new bridge was completed in 1984, exactly 100 years after the original bridge. It's built of structural steel and sits on a foundation of reinforced concrete. It cost $1 million to build. The funds were provided by the Metro Foundation of Denver. It's five times stronger than the original, which is good because the old timer said the original bridge used to sway when the trains went over it. Well, I guarantee you this one will not sway because if it did, Ron and I would not be on this train. So the track up there is 75 feet above us. But when you're up there looking down, it seems a whole lot further than that. The other reason we bring it down below the bridge is so you can ride the entire Georgetown Loop. In order to ride the loop, you have to start on this lower side of the bridge so you can go under the bridge and then loop over the lower track. That's the loop, the Georgetown Loop. Now we're going to get two toots on the whistle. There they are, and that means we're headed the other direction. We'll be non-stop to Silver Plume. Once we get started here, Ron and I are going to be coming through the car to break your tickets. So you might have those tickets out ready for you. We're coming through the car. I'm going to turn off this station so you the sound of the clear right now. Also, this is the locomotive number 12. I just worked this way up for that. Enjoy your ride today, over the loop. 